So today, what I want to do is show you guys a new tool. Um, this one is brand new to me. I haven't assembled it yet, but uh, I think you guys might really like this one. Today, it's a metalworking tool uh, that I'm going to be using because I'm going to be trying to crank some parts out uh, for a couple of the bikes and maybe a few other things on the uh, DIY CNC plasma table but you could use it for that you could use it for stuff that you hand cut with a bandsaw or uh, angle grinder with a cutoff disc it really doesn't matter um, what this tool is going to do is raise the parts that you cut out to a little higher level uh, give you a little better edge finish um, it's not a necessary tool but it will definitely help out so uh, let's get into it so the tool today is actually available from Swag Off-Road and if you don't know who they are uh, you should if you're in the metalworking and building your own metalworking tools you got a bunch of other stuff too uh, but yeah um, so today the actual tool is the and these are the instructions and this is another reason I like Swag Off-Road everything they have is color printed um, really easy to follow uh, so this is the chamfer table now what that's going to do is when you cut your parts say uh, th now this is one of the parts for the table but you cut this out and you're left with you know a halfway decent edge right but it's still kind of sharp and it's not it doesn't feel good in the hand right so what this is going to do is it will chamfer and it doesn't matter the shape it can do inside or outside it doesn't matter um, it's going to kind of cut that edge at an angle and chamfer it and you're able to adjust how deep that chamfer is uh, if you just want to kind of barely break the edge or if you really want to cut into it it's up to you it is adjustable um, but that, that's what we're going to be building is this chamfer tool from Swag Off-Road and uh, what I'll do is I got everything spread out on the table and I'll show you what what all is involved and how we're going to put it together alright so first up is the actual table from Swag Off-Road this is where the chamfer tool itself actually mounts real nice machining um, good surface finish and you can see it's got some holes and some feet there's that piece I was showing you earlier. Your hardware, and of course the instructions and a sticker. Uh, very thick. You know they don't build this stuff for light duty, um, but these feet you can mount to a table. You could put little rubber feet in it. You could put those threaded feet in to you know adjust it however you want to do it. But with the tool that will go in this, you do need some height. Uh, and some clearance. So uh, next up is the actual tool. Now links for all of this will be in the description but this is the actual chamfering tool. Uh, if this will focus um, you can see that there's a carbide blade in there. And what that does is um, gets spun up by this guy and it's this one is air powered and you can adjust the speed, you can control the depth, um, and these blades are available on Amazon. So if you get one that you dull out real quick or whatever, you can replace it relatively cheap. And that comes with some O-rings and some bearings, little guide bearings, and some more carbide blades, and then an air fitting. I don't think we'll use the air fitting in the tool. Um, but that that's it. It's really pretty small, compact, pretty cool. Uh, like I said, links to all this in the description. Now, Swag Out Off-Road actually, in their instructions, gives you an example of how to control this tool. And what they're, and what they're actually using to control it is a uh, ball valve, which you can control like on or off or you know the speed at which that thing's going to spin 
based off the air pressure and volume that's going through the line. Uh, I wanted to step that up a little bit. I didn't want to have to reach under the table or you know in the line somewhere to crank that ball valve to adjust the speed. So I found this guy and this is a pneumatic foot pedal valve. Um, so this would sit on the floor, we'll have an airline running into it and an airline running out up to the tool. And this one I believe is two, two stage. So you're gonna have an on and off and then a couple speeds, you know, depending on where you press your foot. Um, another reason I want to go with that is I wanted to keep both hands on the piece as I'm running it on the table and I can adjust it on the fly as I'm doing it but still keep a, a solid grip on the piece that I'm chamfering. Uh, links to that as well in the description. So what we need to do now is by following our really good swag off-road instructions we need to put this together. It's very simple. Uh, I'm not really going to go over it. There's no need for a time lapse or anything. I'll just bring you back once it's done and we'll get it all plumbed up and hook it up to our shop air and we'll chamfer a couple couple parts and see how it does. So I've got everything hooked up. There's our foot pedal. The black hose runs up to the chamfering tool and the yellow goes to the little compressor. Uh, didn't feel like hooking up the big one. Everything fits really nice. Even with the coupler on there, it still fits. It's a little tight, but it does fit. I've put some oil in the tool and let it run a little bit just to kind of circulate some of that oil and everything and this is what we get so now what we need to do is uh see if it'll actually chamfer some steel so i'm going to go grab um a gusset or something uh, and see if we can't chamfer it real quick we're going to use one of these big gussets that Steve from Mayhem Metalworks sent me. Um, I do have the little compressor hooked up, so I'm not sure how long it's going to run. But uh, yeah, we'll at least try to chamfer one edge and see what the outcome is. Uh, but just so you know, this is the before. It is pretty sharp. definitely do it. I've got it set to kind of cut deep. I really wanted to push it and see what it did. But uh, yeah, that that's going to come in pretty handy because now when we go to weld this to something, instead of using the angle grinder to kind of chamfer it in so that it, we get good penetration on a weld, we can just run it on this and it's going to be way more consistent and a lot more clean. And I'm sure if I get it hooked up to the big compressor, then we can get a little more, we can get it to run a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So there you go, that is the Swag Off-Road Chamfering Tool Table Kit. And we added a few accessories to it to make it a little easier for us. But, I mean, you can always use the ball valve uh, idea, like Swag recommends. Um, that's it. I am pretty impressed. Definitely need to get it hooked up to the big boy compressor so that it can run for more than 10 seconds like it does on the little compressor, but 
that's not the tool's fault, that's not the table's fault. That was just me uh, kind of being in a rush so I could film it for you guys. So you're definitely going to be seeing this, this guy on the channel a little bit more, uh, probably in the background, and especially once I start cutting some stuff on the CNC plasma table, I want to kind of finish the edges. And I'm going to tweak it a little bit, get the, the height right on the cutting tool to get the chamfer kind of more where I want it. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty sweet. Um, if you want to get one of these for yourself, uh, link's down in the description. And uh, until next time, guys, get up, get out there and do it.